went. Look at that mess. What's up guys, what's going on? So we're finally getting out of here. Keiko, stay in the back, please. Thank you very much. Back. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, driveway's kind of rough to get out of, but we're gonna do it. Might have to get stuck and reverse and go forward and reverse and get forward and do whatever I gotta do to get out of here. But the water's low enough and I think I can drive through it and then <sighs> when we get back, I'm just gonna park on the other side of that crap. And that way I can go to work tomorrow. That is the plan. That is if work's got work for me. That is also another question. I don't know. All right, guys, we're getting right. here. We have a Ooh, yeah. We are having fun now. Yay! Do donuts! Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is the part right here that we're most worried about. Uh, going down shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's gonna take it slow going down, but getting back up here might be a pain. Uh, we gotta go really slow through the water. Here we go. Kiko, stop. Drives me crazy, Kiko. And we just gotta go really slow to keep like a steady pace. Just like that. Oh, mic drop. Yay. Look at me go. Oh shit, <laughs> it's hit the bottom of the car. <laughs> I wanna have fun, but I don't wanna go too crazy. Cause of the bottom, I got like this undercarriage underneath, it's like this plastic piece that could like fall off if I hit snow at a fast enough pace. And I don't want that to happen. It could be very bad. go but guys the road is clear on the main road here it was just a driveway was our challenge and we've overcome that challenge thank god and then there's that part over the road where you know it was over a few inches yesterday if not like four or five inches but now look clear on this side <laughs> all right so uh yeah we're gonna go get propane because we're out of propane and then uh yeah when i get back i'm gonna drop the propane and then i'm gonna park the car on the other side of that water and that way i can go to work tomorrow and i'm, I'm gonna be happy about that i gotta make some money guys you know gotta pay them bills i am so guys i had to put a pause on my roblox diction um uh, i keep wanting to like you know work on building my big ass mansion in that game but it's like taking so far three days and all I've got is like a bedroom and kind of like two bathrooms and a kitchen stop stop Keiko you're not getting up here relax anyway um, and I got some stairs and I've got like a ceiling you know like upstairs like a floor and I'm starting like some walls up there, but that's about it. Like it's not even close to a completed house yet. And I'm trying to make a big ass mansion, so. And that's three days in. So I decided, you know what? We really want to play Apex Legends. So I'm gonna stream a little bit of that tonight. I know my viewers wanted, you know, me to stream like, you know, eight, 10 hour stream, but I just can't today. Um, we got errands to do. Yeah, we gotta take care of this propane and I have uh, the last vlog to edit I still haven't done that yet so I've got to do that and get it up so pretty much that's what I'm doing and tomorrow hopefully they got work fingers are crossed if not you know I'd almost want to say fingers are crossed they don't have work and then I can just go get lift and get that immediate money because immediate money is really what I need right now anyway but yeah Look at that, guys. Snow everywhere, man. Shoot. Whoever cleared these streets did a very good job of like, getting off the road. 
man, it's all over the side. We've got trees falling down and breaking. Look at that one over there, man. Look at that That was just everywhere. Trees broken and tree limbs. That was pretty nuts out here. Crazy. Where did this snowstorm come from, man? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you tried. Yeah, I tried to get it. That was a fail. <laughs> epic fail. Look at that. It's a piece of the trim of the car. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <Sorry>. Epic fail. <laughs> I should leave that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> epic fail. <laughs> then I'll put some captions. LOL, Tony's videoing skills. <laughs> <laughs> epic fail. Yeah. It's funny. I don't do it very often. He just gave me the camera. He shouldn't have given me the camera. <laughs> <laughs> look at those trees. Yeah, yeah, look at all that. Shoot. We got them all messed up. Yeah. I'm just keeping it pointed on one side. Oh, look at the trees. are almost gone. Yeah, I know, right? Like snap clear in half. Uh, you got somebody tapping you. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Tim. Tim Red trying to send us a message. Look at all these trees laying down here. Look at this. Back <laughs> like in them trees all up. That looked like scotch broom. <laughs> yeah, and they was it though. The little big trees. Flat. By the flat <laughs> door. Mm, oh, look at this one bowed over. Oh, up front there? Yeah, up front. Look at this one. It's all bowed over. <laughs> Damn. Pretty nice. Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> Drop bows on it. Drop <laughs> bows on. <laughs> you can shoot. You can shoot bow and arrows off of that one. Take us out. Yeah. Good job, girl. <laughs> so annoying. Um, Keiko. Chill out back there, buddy. Everybody had to stop because I was in the room. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I was just going around and around. <laughs> 
around. It'd be cool to see someone do like a like one of them drifts around the thing like oh, yeah. 50 times. Yeah, look another one of them boat over trees. <laughs> look at that. Tree broke, bent over. One of them, one of them arrow shooters. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna YouTube uh, search that uh, uh, roundabout drifting. <laughs> I want to see a video. There you go. It's a tree. Oh, look at that. That tree all messed up. That is down there. Mm. You can go skiing down there. <clears throat> oh, look at that tree and that person growing all down. Oh, look, here's another broken tree. Eight out of ten. 
<laughs> I think there's more clouds up there than that. <laughs> he's, he's a fucking idiot, though. Uh -huh. He you don't know how to count. There's a lot more than ten. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good fisherman, though. Right. He could fish. It's funny. I, I was driving a gal doing Uber. That, that, uh, we drove by that Starbucks and she's like they weren't supposed to put that there it was a historical site or something I'm like man that building was old as shit <laughs> who the hell wants that to be there anyway <laughs> what's wrong having a Starbucks <laughs> well, she was going off about how bad their coffee is it, it, it is sometimes kind of burnt but most of the time it's pretty good especially if you get a frappuccino you don't really notice tastes good good caffeinated sugary drink no matter what I've never had a bad frappuccino I don't think I have that you oh yeah. look at that parking lot mm, the park it's all oh, closed yeah. down there's the river the yeah. shoots river the river did you get it yeah, yeah. I got it I got it when we come up Landlord brought us more food, man. Check this out. It's like a, like a soup slash, I don't know what you call it, but it looks really good. There's noodles and corn and potatoes and carrots. A lot of nutritious items in here. Uh, looks like, a, what is that? Like, a, you call that roast beef or something like that? I don't know. Looks pretty good, though. And she gave us some, like, cinnamon roll type thing. Heck yeah. Anyway, I made it home. Uh, we survived the drive through the snowy roads and I uh, actually just hauled my butt up the driveway up the steep hill and I, I made it up the hill. But then when I got, I got uh, almost to my place, um, the landlord's uh, vehicle was kind of like in the track. You know how like vehicles have been going through, so there's like tracks, and then there's like high amounts of snow built up where the tracks aren't. Well, anyway, her vehicle was kind of in the track, and so I couldn't get by her vehicle, and I had to you know move it a little bit, and then I, then I was able to. <sighs> it's crazy, challenges of this this crazy snowstorm that we had, man, snowmageddon. Anyway, I'm home now. Uh, we got propane for the house. Check it out. Boom. Look at that. That is producing some very nice heat. I am so very happy about that. Keiko's happy about that. We are good to go. Anyways, I'm going to edit a video now. Uh, I might be able to stream some Apex Legends. I don't know. It's getting late right now, and I really want to do that. And I told everybody it was, but, you know, things happen, guys. Ugh. It's crazy. 
got to be responsible. I got to go to bed at an early hour today because I'm probably going to work tomorrow. And it's probably not going to be the most fun. But it, tomorrow is uh, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. So I definitely plan on seeing my girl. Which is another reason why I want to get a good night's sleep tonight. Because, yeah, I'll probably be out a little late tomorrow night. So, yep. Anyway, I'm thinking I might edit the vlog and just run a PewDiePie versus T-Series stream. And, uh, yeah, just let it go for, like, what, a couple days? I don't know. But we'll definitely stream on Saturday. Some Apex Legends. That's next on deck, guys. Hell yeah. What's up, guys? What's going on? Driving to work. It is Thursday. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I wish I could have slept in, man, but I couldn't. I gotta go to work. Gotta make that money somehow. Feels like torture some days, man. I hate mornings so much. Ugh. But I got my C4. Um, I didn't make or eat breakfast or lunch, so I'm just gonna stop at McDonald's on the way. Grab some of them breakfast burritos and, uh, yeah, call it good. Head to work. That's the plan. Just happy I got out of the driveway and I'm off to work. This was up. So I heard Lyft is giving free rides to, like, Black History Museums and stuff. I think during Black History Month, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I thought it was funny because I think I know for sure like people are gonna cheat on that and then like what if they like work at or maybe they work by a black history like say they work by a black history museum <laughs> they would just like get a free ride and then just walk to work <laughs> or, or vice versa like if they were at work and their their home is by a black history museum I think that's hilarious I think a lot of people are gonna capitalize on that I think Lyft is trying to do a nice thing I guess um, for like black people, but I know a lot of people are gonna capitalize on that shit. You know it. And that's funny shit to me. Look at that pile of snow, guys. It's like bigger than that car. <laughs> that's just crazy. Look, guys, they got us a spy cam at my workplace. <laughs> uh, better be good. Anyway, I think it's just like for. It's like a dash cam for in case I get an accident, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if like, someone's always watching or what. Probably. What's up, guys? What's going on? So, it's Friday, the day after Valentine's Day, and uh, heading to work. Uh, I didn't get to see my girl yesterday. I, I was almost kind of saddened by that, but, you know. Uh, I got off kind of kind of late and then like I was soaking wet and just beat up from my crazy day and so you know I went home and she had to work anyway and ugh, yeah but it's all good I guess I'll see her next week <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to see her today either but it's alright someday someday I won't get us a place together and then I can see her all the damn time you know uh, so I'm just heading off to work I'm a little bit late damn it I should, should have left earlier but I took a shower this morning anytime I take a shower in the morning I'm pretty much always late because uh, it's just like you know you get in the shower and like if you have like massive amounts of pains and shit in your body it's like that shower is like the best fucking thing that you could possibly experience you know I just hot water feels so good on sore butt muscles <laughs> and so I stay in there for you know a little while and try to enjoy the hot water and then lose track of time it's kind of what happens so I try not to take too many showers in the morning and then take them like at night you know but you know that doesn't always work that way it's funny uh it's funny um uh, I was talking to my boss the other day we saw a raccoon and shit and we're, he's like you know the well the one guy the homeowner's like get your shovel ready and i was like yeah i can take one of those suckers man i ain't worried about it you know and uh, boss was like yeah that's a wild animal dude and 
I was like, nah, I got that. <laughs> I'm like, fucking 280 pounds. What's that little thing, you know? I know he's got claws, but I'll, I'll rip them claws right out. I'll rip his, I'll grab his palm and just rip it out. Body slam the motherfucker. <laughs> shit. I don't know. I really feel like I could take a raccoon, for real, though. I, I think it could scratch the shit out of me. Don't get me wrong. And I just go get my rabies shot right afterwards or whatever I have to do, but, you know. <laughs> shit. That's funny. Uh, anyway, snow is melting. Um, it was supposed to rain last night. I was worried about my driveway getting flooded again and me getting stuck. But I didn't feel like parking on the other side of the water last night because, like, that's a long ass walk when you're, you know, had a long day and you're cold and wet and tired. So I just said, screw that and took my chance, you know. Took a chance of maybe being stranded. And, uh, you know, I would have missed work if I was stranded. That would have sucked, you know. My boss probably be upset with me because I didn't, you know, park it on the other side of the water, but, you know, it's like, I shouldn't have to do that, though, guys, like, I shouldn't have to park it somewhere and just leave my car, like, in the middle of nowhere and then, like, you know, hike a quarter mile up my driveway, I don't like that, I don't even like leaving my car, like, somewhere where someone could fuck with it, I don't know, there ain't nobody there around to, like, do anything if anybody does mess with it, so... I don't know. I just don't like that. But, uh... Anyways, guys. It's Friday. I'm gonna try to have a good day. Even though I'm a little late. Hopefully I don't get any shit for that. I, you know... Tried my best to be on time today. But it didn't work out. We'll try again. On Monday. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm almost to work, so... See you later. Oh, right. So yesterday was kind of kind of a crappy day. It like dumped rain on me all day and I got soaking wet from head to toe. My socks, my boots, my pant legs, just everything was just soaking wet. And um, it was really miserable. Like I haven't experienced like a miserable day like that in a long time. And it just sucked, like, the whole time while I was doing it, I was just like, I want to get the F out of here. I want to, like, you know, get in the truck and blast the heater, you know. It's not like I could do that because the boss was right there. <laughs> so I had to just keep fucking busting ass. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm feeling it today. I'm sore and tired. And, or hopefully uh, today ain't near as wet. That would be nice. Hey, guys. Um friendly co-worker bought me lunch today. Look at this. I got fish and chips. Uh, we got french fries. Damn, that looks good. Oh, yeah. It's uh, Ivers. What's up, guys? What is going on? I am off work early today on Friday. I'm so happy about that because I'm going home and I'm going to be streaming some uh, Apex Legends, finally. Been trying to stream that for so long, so I'm freaking stoked anyway I had a really good day uh, you know I was working with this guy um, for most of the day um, pretty much the whole day and uh, he's really cool like he like hooked me up like uh, earlier like I was kind of like hungry it was like lunchtime but I didn't really pack like a big lunch and I was I was telling him like the kind of lunch that I packed because I thought it was funny because I packed uh, I had a pepperoni stick a little chocolate thing and I got a uh, let's see here three cheese slices and uh, about an eighth of a bag of honey bunches of oat cereal <laughs> that was all I packed for lunch because I just didn't have anything to make a lunch and I didn't have time to stop and like buy any food for lunch like, usually I'll stop and just buy a bunch of breakfast burritos at McDonald's and then it's enough for breakfast it's enough for lunch it's kind of what I do. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, I was joking, telling him about the funny lunch that I packed. And he hooked me up with, like, this, like, homemade chicken noodle soup. And it was freaking awesome. Like, I was jittering out, too. Like, I needed food. And I was like, eh, you know, shaky because too much caffeine. Because a lady at the house I was working at bought, bought a Starbucks. And so, 
<laughs> so I was just jittering out. And so he hooked me up with that soup and I ate the soup. It was really good soup. And then, um, friggin', uh, what you might call it. Um, then we, we were working there for a, a little longer still, probably about another hour or so, maybe. And then finally it was lunchtime and, uh, he said that, uh, he wants to take me to lunch. Uh, and he's like, you know, he, he said like, I was like, nah, man, you gotta do that. And he's like, well, if I was in your position, I would want someone to do it for me. And, you know, and I'm just like, well, you know, I'm tough. I can survive. It's okay, man. And like, he's like, no, I'll take you to lunch. And so, uh, he took me to this place called Ivers. Um, Ivers is like a seafood, uh, restaurant and, um, freaking amazing. It's almost like a fast food seafood restaurant. And um, they had uh, fish and chips and all kinds of stuff there. So he got me uh, some fish and chips and some, you know, f chips meaning like french fries. So like uh, fish, fried fish and french fries basically. And uh, man, it was bomb. Like really freaking good. And each each uh, fish and chip meal was like eight, nine bucks. That's it. That's pretty affordable. And uh, yeah, I'm just really, really grateful. Dude hooked me up. So... <clears throat> I, I, t I told him about the channel. I don't know if he'll ever, you know, come watch the channel. But if you are if you happen to be watching this, man, hey, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that so very much. You have no idea. Like, that fish gave me, like, extra energy. It's probably, like, the most nutritious thing I've had in a while. So, <sighs> anyway, um, so we've been running the T-Series versus PewDiePie uh, stream again. And, um, um... PewDiePie is still way ahead of T-Series, which is awesome. And, uh, what else? <clears throat> I've been running it for, like, oh, over two days now. For more than two days. It's, like, gonna be the longest stream, just about, that I've ever done. I think the longest was 32 hours. It was another PewDiePie versus T-Series stream. Anyway, uh... So yeah, it's like a hella long stream. Uh, probably gonna since I'm coming home early, we're gonna end that. We're gonna do uh, the giveaway, which is uh, 250,000 numbers bucks. But I decided I was gonna do that uh, three ways. Basically, I was gonna make uh, three separate prizes of 250,000. So three separate people are gonna get 250,000 numbers bucks tonight, and then uh, well this afternoon, whatever. And then we're gonna stream Apex Legends if I if I can. That'd be pretty fucking badass. Love how close that guy is behind me. You see him? I can't zoom, but yeah, he's like, it's like right on my ass. Fuck. Can't stand it when people do that. <sighs> anyway, sun is shining today, which is amazing, and I uh, really appreciated that after yesterday. Yesterday was just freaking hell, man. Uh, I hate working all day long in the rain and just getting drenched. Like, dude, it is not fun. So, uh, I was grateful for today and getting off early. It's just, it's awesome. I'm feeling blessed. I have this bill that I was worried about. You know, I was always worried about bills. But I have this bill I was worried about with my insurance. It was due on the 19th, like 230 bucks. My car insurance. And, um... Freaking! I called them and they said that it's fine if I make it on the 23rd, which is like my next paycheck. So that's what I'm gonna do, man. So now I don't even have to really sweat that, except for that's like around the time, pretty close to the time I usually pay rent. So what I was thinking is I'll pay them the 230, and then whatever left over I'll kind of like give it to my landlord. You know, I've got other bills too, but you know whatever's left over give to my landlord and then the rest before the first and that will be you know totally co totally cool with them so so my rent's not really due until the first anyway i've always just kind of paid it a little bit early so they got used to that and it kind of become the norm you know but, you know some 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 months i just I, you know i'm struggling and i can't can't pay it early you know so i try man i try Trying to get on top of these damn bills. Right now, as it stands, I don't have any more loans. I'm proud to say that. I have no more loans to pay back right now. They're, everything's just paid off. As far as, like, the payday loans. 
so, uh, yeah, I don't have to sweat that, I just gotta, like, take care of the bills that I got, and speeding tickets are paid for, except for, like, there was this one where I owed, like, maybe 50-something dollars in interest, and, um, Pierce County said they were gonna send me a bill for that, but I never got it yet, I do plan on paying that, like, really freaking soon, so, no more license suspensions, no more problems, you know, damn, which is crazy. Uber still hasn't reinstated me. I told you I was going to do that exposed video on them. I'm still going to do that. And, uh, yeah, if they, if they don't let me back, then uh, I can expose more than just what I was going to expose. But, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I was talking with my buddy today at work, a co-worker, about that. He's like, well, if you expose them, then they for sure won't let you back. And I'm like saying, well, no, if they, if they don't let me back, that's when I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> and then he was like, and I was talking about, I'd like, promote Lyft or something. You know, bash Uber and promote Lyft. And, uh, <laughs> freaking, uh, he was like, He's like, yeah, but then Lyft won't want you. And I'm like, well, I'm already with Lyft. It's not like, you know, you know, and they don't want to like get rid of me too, because then they know that Uber, what what fate Uber's gonna suffer because they get rid of me. So, yeah, yo, man, I mean, like this kind of bad publicity that I'm about to put out on their ass is not good for their business. And uh, yeah, I mean, if I go like viral with that shit, I would ruin them with this shit, like. Ruin the muscles. Uh, shit. This is the kind of shit that make you not go Uber and, and just ride with Lyft. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Anyways, guys, I am heading home, almost home. So stoked about playing, playing some Apex Legends. It's gonna be freaking good. The game looks really clean, by the way, guys. I can't wait. It looks sick. There's another game that I was looking at, too, that, uh, Epic Games has coming out uh, called Spellbreak. I don't know if you've seen that, um, but uh, I saw. Um, let's see here. What's that guy on Twitch? Like Summit? I think his name's something Summit or something. Anyway, he was playing it, and then uh, let's see. Here, I saw Doctor Disrespect. I think mess around with it, and uh, yeah, that game looks pretty fun. I'm, I'm into this like medieval times magic type games. You know, like Diablo and Elder Scrolls Online and shit like that. So uh, I think I I can get in with get, get into Spellbreak. Spellbreak is gonna be another battle royale, but it's like with magic and stuff. So I think I could really get down with that. So that is coming. I signed up for the closed uh, alpha. They're only letting so many people test the game right now. But uh, if you guys want to sign up uh, for that. Um, if you head on over to my gaming channel, I don't know if I put it uh, in the description uh, here on the vlog channel, but if you head on over to my gaming channel, um, I'll have the link for you to uh, sign up uh, with Spellbreak under me, and that way, like, if you like make a purchase or any kind of purchase, then uh, I get a commission. I think with that game, they're going to have the same type of thing in the item shop where you enter the support a creator tag. And uh, if, if they do, you know, mine is MBRS-Commander. Same on, on Fortnite in the item shop there. My support a creator tag is MBRS-Commander. So if you guys enter that, I really appreciate it. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Um appreciate you smash that like subscribe if you haven't already and uh, oh wait wait I just thought of something <laughs> alright so earlier um, I had a this video it's an older video that I did like what like a year or maybe even two years ago where uh, I don't know if you remember that tragic event where Christina Grimmy was at this concert or whatever I guess she was like a singer slash YouTuber or whatever. And um, some dude just came out of the crowd and like and killed her, shot her. Um, and it was just like really sad, you know. Anyway, I did a video uh, kind of reacting to that a little bit. It, it was mostly about like the Black Ribbon 
on YouTube why they put it up and I was, at the time I didn't really know so I did all this research and then I you know did that video but anyway so the black ribbon usually is put up on YouTube during like a tragic event that happens or like a famous person dies or something you know so anyway today I was noticing in my analytics that uh the freaking um my black ribbon video from like two years ago was getting like 80 you got like 84 views just today just today so I was like what the hell happened you know so I've been asking nobody knows yet nobody's seen a black ribbon it seems like there must be a black ribbon because why is everybody asking about what was the black ribbon today you know I don't know so <clears throat> Hopefully nothing too, too tragic happened. I, I don't know. But if you guys have any idea, let me know. Because uh, right now I'm clueless about that. I just know I'm getting a lot of videos on the Black Ribbon video. Or a lot of views on the Black Ribbon video. So. <clears throat> Alright, y'all. Smash it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share on your social media, guys. Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, um, Instagram. Wherever you can share a video. I really appreciate it. Tell your friends, your family about the commander. Hi, y'all. Peace out.